I'm Rainey. And I'm Lynette. In 2021, we made the decision to sell our home in the East Bay and relocate to the foothills of California. Join us in our journey living the foothill life. Welcome back. As you can tell, I'm working on a door and that's what this project is going to be. We're going to be changing all of our interior doors. Right now they're all just flat, very um, old schoolish, and we're going to change them all out to six panel doors. We're going to use the existing hardware and um, yeah, that's what we're doing. Doors. Doors, 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 and more doors. But for starters, I got to get the labels off dust them and paint them all first before we can swap them out so stay tuned stick around enjoy the show all right so i got the label off the best i could but i want to show you guys a little trick that i saw on the internet somewhere facebook reel uh, youtube short i'm not sure but what you do is you put a screw in the center of your door on each end that way when it's time to paint you just keep on rotating this sucker See that? No waiting for one side to dry. Just do that. So, like I said, it's not my tip, but I wanted to share it with you. I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a try. Looks so much nicer with the white paint. Not sure if you can see it at this angle. But they looked white until you paint them white. Then they look dirty. Dirty doors. Probably have to give them a couple of coats. Just using some white paint. Something we had laying around that'll work just fine. It's for exterior. Heavy, it'll be even heavier duty here. Maybe it'll last longer. Check it out. Can you see the difference between the factory prime and the white paint? Definitely gonna need two coats. Just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like. This having this on the screws is pretty nice. I mean, you have to stabilize it, but to spin it around and do what you need to do, it's pretty awesome. Well, there it is. One door down. Looks pretty good. If there's any missed spots or whatever, we'll just fix that after the fact because we plan on painting all of the rooms again in the house. Because the uh, gray to me looks kind of blue gray it's kind of dark you don't want dark dark colors in a place that's small because it makes it look smaller and it's darker so one down and four more to go for these smaller doors All right, they're finally done. The five doors, uh, two coats each side. Feels like five hours later, took a long time. Now we're gonna let them dry and then we will install them in the house. Can't really see them because I can't get back far enough. 
what you got there. Check one of those. Another hard day work deserves a good drink with some alcohol in it. My favorite is Michelob Ultra. That's Captain Morgan sliced. Passion fruit hurricane. They're they're kind of new. Yeah. These have been around. We worked our butts off mm -hmm. yesterday. Not the day before. <laughs> yeah, the day before. <laughs> Trying to get a lot of stuff done. So all you're gonna have is one drink. <laughs> Woo, big party animal. We're gonna have a good old time tonight. Don't worry your eyes. Show your eyes up. Let's tackle some doors. Okay, the doors are all dry, and now I'm, what I'm gonna do is change out the hardware to replace these two closet doors. They're 24 inches wide. And then I will show you, next we're gonna go back outside, and I will show you how I'm gonna swap out the hardware on the doors and hopefully I don't screw anything up and it looks good and it works right on my first time. So let's go outside and get started on replacing these doors. All right, so I got uh, both the doors out here and they seem to be lining up pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little square to just draw lines so that I place this existing bracket back in the correct place. Everything seems to be lining up okay. Um, hopefully it should work out pretty good. Somehow we got a little scuff on that door, but I'll just touch that up. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you on the tripod and let you see me, uh, scribe those lines and hope for the best. Wish me luck. This is a pretty handy, well, let me see. Let me see where you guys are at. All right. So this is a pretty handy dandy little pencil. Let's click it out. I'm hoping that works good. Hoping you guys can see. I'm right handed, kind of weird. Let me take a look at that. There's a little Protrusion right there, kind of throw me off a little bit. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe if I draw the lines on this also, just to make sure. Like triple check. Yeah, that little knob right there is throwing it off. So I'm just gonna do an extra little line. Anything I do, I can repaint and touch up. So that's what I'm gonna do on all the rest. I'm going to place the hardware on and then go from there. Um, yeah, so let's hope this works out. So I think what I'm going to have to do is follow this line for these because this sticks out, this line sticks out too far because of the little knobby on the hinge. You guys hear Rainy rocking out in the background? She's tackling her she shed while I'm tackling these doors trying to get stuff done.
Check it out. What do you think? You like the old door or the new door? I vote new door. That looks amazing. I didn't want to bore you with me uh, mounting it back up there. Six screws. It was done. So done job. Just wanted to share that with you. Um, yeah. So let's move on to another door. One down. Four more to go. And then I still have two more that I have to paint and put on. But I won't bore you with that. I won't make this video really long with a bunch of repetitive door after door after door after door. But I just wanted to share this product project with you. So I'll come back and I'll show you as I add more doors. All right, check it out. Doesn't that look so much better? So much better. Loving it. Looks amazing. Really adds a more uh, modern updated look to this little little pad of ours. Okay, it's really hard to capture this because it's a very tight spot, but we're going to go for these two doors right here. Okay, look how much better these two doors look. Big difference from that. Reminds me of our old house. You know, the house that's at the beginning of every video, our intro. So now off to the last door. All right, guys and gals, friends and pals, all of our lovely YouTube watchers and subscribers. Oh, speaking of subscribers, if you haven't already subscribed, hey, subscribe. It costs you absolutely nothing and it helps us immensely. So this is the last door. If you remember, it's the room that we placed the cabinets in. An older video. Gosh, I can't even remember how long ago we did that. A couple years, year and a half. Anyways, last door. And if I haven't thanked you already, thank you so much for watching. Give us that nice thumbs up, comment, like, and like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please, please consider subscribing. It helps us grow. It doesn't cost you anything, anything. You just gotta click that little button, the subscribe button. So on to the last door, and then we're gonna wrap this video up. Well, there it is, guys. The, there it is, guys, the finished product, the last door. There's still uh, two bedroom doors I gotta do, and then uh, the job will be complete, but we're gonna focus on another project first before we do those doors, but I wanted to share this one with you, and thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.